My name is Stacy Eberschlag, and I'm from Toon Boom Animation. And today we're taking our rig to the next step, and that is coloring. Now, I like to color in the drawing view, and I don't necessarily need this on. I, I basically know what each of these shapes are, and I'm going to just start as I did when we, we did the cleanup at one end of my rig. And I'm going to make sure I have in my tool properties for my painting, I'm going to just select this. This is called close no gap. I have a couple of options. Close small gap, close medium, and close large. I'm going to choose close small gap just in case I have some gaps and my painting won't fill. I'm going to move my color window up here so I can have my... my um, node view open as well as my color view and I'm going to start to just go through and I'm going to paint choose my next one paint back hair paint my last back hair paint and again if I if something doesn't fill I can paint that I'm going to do my ear now in the case of this ear Watch this ear. I went back and for whatever reason, I guess maybe I controlled Z. I wanted, of course, all my lines to be connected. So I'll just tidy that up a bit. Apologies. And it, it, it may look like my black is a bit transparent because I just adjusted the alpha at some point as well. So there's my ear. I'm going to make that skin fill. Uh, whoops. Skin fill. And then I'm going to make the skin shadow and the shadow fill. Go to my pupil. I can do my pupil fill. Paint it. And again, I'll just get on my paint bucket. My left eye. I know I need it to be eye fill. My brow is already painted black. That's okay. And I can just do my pupil fill. My eye fill. I'm just going to go through and paint everything. My brow, no, I don't need that. My nose. Now, when you have something like a nose, I'm going to press K. I've put my strokes in, and I mentioned how to do strokes earlier on the chin. Sometimes what I also do is do a third stroke. I'm going to do a stroke that goes something like this. And it just makes it easier to grab. I'm going to make my skin shadow this color. And I'm going to make my skin fill this color. It just kind of fills in an area that I can, it's easier to grab later on when you're animating. My mouth, again. My face, that's going to be skin fill. My chin. Remember we had skin shadow there. We made this uh, earlier on. My head. And sometimes I have to just, the head is going to be spacesuit color. Let's find our spacesuit. Uh, spacesuit dark gray. Spacesuit gray. The ear. Go back to my skin fill. Oh. And you'll simply just go through and skin shadow. You have a little gap there. So to close the gaps, I can just hold C down on my, uh, hold C and just sort of extend that line. And then I'll just paint the skin shadow. Whoop. And the skin shadow. This will be a spacesuit cut gray. Now, with my arms, I've drawn the whole arm and copied it from the upper arm to the lower arm. So, and before I actually get rid of anything, I'm going to get rid of this dot because I put this dot in a little bit earlier and didn't uh, explain it. There is a, a circle here that we need to put a little marker point for the pivot. And I'm just going to grab a brush and make a line. That brush is too thick. I'm going to hold O and make it to be a really tiny brush. There it is. And I'm going to select this circle. And you can see that it automatically shows me this dot. 
that dog is where I'm going to put the pivot on, uh, the pivot for the arm. So I'm going to zoom in on that dog. You can see if I zoom right in and keep my mouse on it and press Alt-B, Alt-B turns to my brush. And if I make a little dot and come back outside, it marks the perfect center of this circle. Now this is my upper arm, so my upper arm is going to be something that looks like that. And I'm going to close this gap so I'm able to paint it. I choose close gap and make a little line there. And then my lower arm is going to be exactly the same. I'm going to get rid of this, 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 and this. And these little extra things. Now, I believe the arms were white. Sometimes I have to even go back myself and take a look at what color things are. A. Eh? Turn that on. Okay, now the arms are gray. That's a good thing I checked. We're going to do this spacesuit gray. I'm going to hold I and paint that. And then I'm going to go back up here to my arm. Let's see where we've got to. I'm going to press this and I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to just continue on with my painting. Paint the arm, that's good. The lower arm's done. The hand I know has to be spacesuit white. And the glove shadow, I'll put those, paint those areas. Wrist, I know that that's going to be spacesuit red, white. And this is going to be spacesuit red. So what you're going to do is just spend the next couple of minutes completely painting your character. Now don't worry about if your character looks strange when you're finished painting it. In the next video, I'll show how you fix that.